what is up babes and welcome back to another video if you're new welcome in today's video you guys i just had to push myself i'm not i'm not even gonna sugarcoat anything i had to push myself this morning i got the kids out for school and then i came back i actually lay down and it was not in the plans it really wasn't i had things to do but i laid down because my mood is it was not there like I did not want to move. My anxieties were high. I was a, I'm a little stressed, you know, and my allergies are really bothering me. If you guys can tell my face look like it's swollen and my mood is just not there, not today. But anyway, I decided to get up, take me a shower, go ahead and cleanse my face and do my little routine and then put some makeup on. I'm really not putting that much on. I just put some tint on and then I'm going to put some concealer up under my eyes and in certain spots and then some mascara because we can't do them lashes. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. We're not going to do lashes right now. I know they're so easy for everybody else to put on, but they're not easy for me. I can't even see to put them on, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> but... I'm just gonna throw some blush on here and then put the rest of my clothes on because it's a little chilly in the house. It's about 80, probably about 81 or 82 outside. So it is beautiful here in Texas, but it's cold in the house because I got the AC on. So after I do all of this, then we're gonna head into my bedroom, which you guys can probably see on the side here and get that bed straightened because there's one thing we don't want to do is to climb back up in that bed because it looks like it looks comfortable and you just want to get back up in it and it feels safe but let me tell you that's not what we're going to do here so we're going to straighten that bed and then we're going to go out and you know get some breakfast and check some emails and stuff like that because i haven't checked the emails from the kids school so i need to see what's going on or maybe some emails about our truck being ready don't know so <laughs> those are things that I have to do so P cakes and I we decided to have a little girl time in my room and she brought her blankets and her her stuffed animals in here and now I have to get that off my bed and then all her hair product we were in here doing her hair on my bed I tell you when it comes to a girl you just it doesn't matter where you at in the house you cannot have like my husband's like well why don't you put the spray bottle and everything in the kitchen no because we're not only in the kitchen if we're not in the kitchen we're in the entryway if we're not in the entryway we're in the laundry room the dining room table i mean come on i know you guys feel me on this one we just be everywhere when it comes to getting ready not just in one place so in case you guys are wondering what's in my corner over there with my little um, sock warmers. Those are where I keep my little socks at. So if I get cold in a room, like my husband always talking about, your feet are cold, your feet are cold. <laughs> so I put my little socks on and then the vacuum cleaner, I went back to Walmart, took a vacuum cleaner back and got this little mini vacuum cleaner to like clean drawers or even vacuum clean the, uh, my headboards or stuff like that. So that's the box that you guys see in the corner. That maybe he ain't worth it Too bad I hate advice Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect It's so hard to decide okay, So I ended up removing my satin pillowcase because I didn't know uh, whether or not I wanted to keep it on the bed or just wait till it's time for me to go to bed. Um, I love this pillow. It helps with reducing acne, creases in your face while you're sleeping so it can help with reducing the wrinkles you know because the creases they cause the wrinkles too <laughs> anyway and it helps with certain benefits of your hair that you don't even have to put on a satin scarf or a bonnet or anything which we, I, we still do anyway love it I sprayed some fragrance on my bed I threw my pillow um my pillows that I had my throw pillows that I had in there on my couch I threw them in here because you know we're trying to move some things around and I'm just grabbing my cords and then we're going to come into the hallway because I need to put in at least one load today of clothes at least one load and I'm telling you guys I got about three <laughs> but at least one is going in <laughs>
so these are my vitamins. I just ordered um, the iron and herb, herb and iron or whatever. And the other one I've been taking um, for a couple of days now. So I decided to order the Magnesio um, Floridox, I think it is. Anyway, I'm not good at taking vitamins. So I decided to just do a liquid vitamin and I heard a lot about this. I even got on TikTok and looked up a couple of things and then a doctor said it was pretty good. You know, I'm just trying to start a healthier journey. Like right now I have my green matcha tea. I have my gluten-free um, whole grain bread. And then I also have my oats with raspberries, blueberries, chai seeds, and flax seeds. So this is me checking my emails as well right now. I'm going to check my emails. Then I'm going to get on the phone with my husband for a couple of hours because he's off right now over the road. And that's just what we do. So headed to the living room right now. We got to clean this mess up in here because I can't do this. I hate when my living room is a mess, you guys. But I have to let that beautiful sun shine in. If I'm gone by now Usually, I like to take off all my cushion covers and my pillow covers after having company in the house. But this week, I just didn't feel like it. So, what I'm going to do is just vacuum clean my entire couch. And then, I'm going to organize all my pillows, dust them and everything. And I'm just going to wait. Probably wait till next week. You know, of course, you spray your couch down after having company outside guests. People that are not usually in your home a lot. So, it's best to, you know disinfect period but when you don't feel like you know doing a whole labor work because <laughs> to me that's a lot of work taking all my cushions off my cushion covers off and waiting for them to dry and then I don't even put my couch covers in the dryer I literally have to let them dry for a day and then put them back on my couch so that means no coming in here sitting and chilling and relaxing. Yes, guys, I am listening to Lauren here right now. That's what got me going right now. That's my motivation. So I like to listen to music or maybe a book here and there. I think I'm going to start listening to books more often, though, because um, sometimes I'm just not in the mood to listen to music. I don't know. Is that you? I don't know. It got to be that special kind of music for me. I love gospel. I do like hip hop. I like R&B. I like pop. Um, I like um, soul music, you know, but I can go on about the music that I do like, but sometimes it's just, I'm in the mood to just relax my mind a little bit. I don't know. We're going to see, because I need to find a good book. So if any of you out there are reading or listening to any eBooks, let me know, because I am going to put some books in my ears and go for what I know. Okay guys, sorry for all that noise. That was my son. He just came in from school and he was sweeping the kitchen floor and he was taking his um, the trash out and he had to make all that noise. I'm like, what? what's wrong with him? Something wrong, I don't know. We're gonna find out though. Well, I'm gonna find out. I don't know if I'm gonna tell y'all. He don't like me sharing things with you all about him. He can say, just share things about Gabby, not me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna fluff my pillows out because 
We gotta make this couch look beautiful. No, but serious. I love a fluffed, nice couch. And sometimes this couch can really agitate me. I bought it from Ashley's, forgot the name of it, but it can be annoying. So, um, the feathers, the feathers in it, look, I'm picking them out right now. You guys are going to see me blowing them out in a minute, <laughs> but I'm always picking feathers out of my couch and it gets to be a little annoying. You know, I love this color. Like I, I've stated before, I like the color, but what was I thinking when it came to kids? Okay. I know I complain a lot about my kids not keeping this couch clean. And I must say we have found the occasional stains in here. We actually found a red stain that they tried to hide from us. And I say us because we in this together. <laughs> but anyway, I cleaned that off with some Florex or Florex, whatever it's called. It's at Amazon. You can find it at Home Depot or Lowe's. I'll link it down below. But they, you know, I can honestly say they've been pretty good because I really thought I was just doomed. <laughs> like, I'm like, I want this color. I'm going to buy it before my children are older. And I've only had it, guys, for a year and a half. Like, when we, I don't even, has it been a year? I would say a year because I ordered it in July. We didn't receive it until Christmas Eve morning. That's when we got it. But I know I need another one. I've been looking at different couches. And I'm like, not yet. You know, that is a big that's a big purchase and I'm not willing to make this purchase again unless I sell this couch and then go buy another one. But hey, kids are going to be kids, right? And I knew what I signed up for when I decided to buy this color. So it's easy to clean, especially with the Scott. I said Scott, the Scotch Guardian and everything. It has been easy for me to maintain it as well. The item. Now you guys are going to see the item here in a second. The kids, I don't know what it is about this item. Now this item actually stays dirty more than my couch. It gets dirty more than my couch, period. Like they will be outside playing in the backyard. My kids do not believe in putting on shoes to go in the backyard. And when they come back in, they want to put their little feet on the item. And, you know, I can honestly say even my oldest son do the same thing. And I'm like, seriously, dude, like you got to clean that. But anyway, they think this is a barn and I keep telling them you're not little barn animals and my home is not a barn. So cut it. Anyway, <laughs> We're going to start mopping this floor and getting everything clean. All I want to see right now is this living room clean. Well, my whole house, but right now we working on the living room and I did not say my house was not clean. Now I did not say that, but I did say, I want to see this living room clean anyway. Now, if I see it, I know you guys see it. Let's talk about the yard. <laughs> so my husband, Lymore, went out, right? And he tried to fix it. You know, my husband, he, he likes taking things apart and putting them back together. That's his hobby. He loves um, fixing cars and stuff of that nature, right? So he's not able to fix the lawnmower at this point. And he will not, with his stubborn self, call in someone to maintain the lawn you know we need a spring cleaning and all of that type of stuff now he knows this already but he don't want to do it and he know Megan wants to see the yard green and pretty with her flowers in it now he knows this hmm he gonna wake up one day and see somebody back there he better stop playing <laughs> in school <laughs> scoped it out just for me so I'm just gonna put it right here on my shelf even though it doesn't go with my aesthetic it was from my baby ah uh, and then we're gonna head to this this tv console oh my gosh 
this is like a headache guys like literally i have to sanitize and wipe everything down you guys already know for those that are new i come over here frequently with um sanitizing wipes and yeah you frequently see cookies and toys and everything else over here um this is where the kids come and they play video games and i'm kicking them out soon they going in their rooms <laughs> one of my sons said well mommy i have to be nosy so i need to hear what y'all saying so i come in here and play the games instead of just staying in my room anyway one side at a time i say this in all my videos do not push yourself to do any more if you cannot take it one step at a time if you cannot do it take a break then come back and believe me you will accomplish much more no matter how i try i'll never say goodbye i know it's not a babes it's time for me to get up out of here i gotta go pick up my little one and so until next time i love you and remember you are strong bye I like the way you